All right, welcome back everybody. Today we're going over transparency in DaVinci Resolve, how it works, some of the quirks, and how to export a transparent video. If you're only looking for a particular topic, feel free to jump around in the timeline to find exactly what you need. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So this is meant to be more of a beginner video, and if you are just starting out in DaVinci Resolve, or if you're a veteran editor, feel free to follow the link below to grab some of my free DaVinci Resolve templates and effects, and if you need any royalty-free music that's absolutely safe to use in your projects, you can find that there too. The number one most common question that I have regards to transparency is, why is my background always black? Well, it actually isn't. So if we put in a video here and we zoom out a little, what we can see is, yes, there is a black background, but that doesn't mean that's not a transparent background. What DaVinci Resolve does is it defaults to showing you everything as black. If we exported this, it might be a black background, it might be a transparent background. That's all going to come down to the export settings that we use. So just because you see a black background doesn't mean it's actually a black background. So one of the most common use cases for transparency is just putting in a logo or a watermark in the bottom corner of your video. So let's throw down our video. Let's throw in our logo and we can resize this, move it over. But another way to move it over even quicker, click this little transform button, move it over to where you want it, grab a corner to resize, grab anywhere in the middle of the image that isn't this button to move it around. And then just click that again when you're done. There you go, you have a logo in the bottom corner. And you can just export this in any format you want. You can do this as an MP4, you can do this as any possible format that you want. So you don't have to worry about it. It's just going to work for you. So the next most common situation that you're going to encounter is putting in a PNG or wanting to make something transparent. So as you can see, I threw in a green background, just a solid color generator. Just it's not gonna sear your eyes, I picked green. And if we threw in something like this one, we can see it is transparent because the green's coming through. If we turn it off, it's going to be uh, black or completely transparent depending on our export settings. So that one's pretty easy. We know exactly how this works. Next one, let's say we encountered something like this, which is a, a black and white image, and we wanted to make part of that transparent. Well, that's pretty easy to click on the image and we're going to change the composite mode. So our options here to make it transparent are either going to be multiply, which is going to get rid of the white layer, or if we scroll down and find screen, that's going to get rid of the black layer. The next thing you may want to get rid of is a colored area from an image. So in this case, I've got the same logo. So depending on what you're working with, there's going to be a couple of different methods. The first couple aren't as effective and they may be a little hit, bit hit or miss, but I'll show you the more surefire way a little bit later on, so just hang with me. So the first way, make sure to have your effects opened up, go to your resolve effects, and then scroll down until you find the HSL here and drag that on top. Click on the image, go to effects, open the effects overlay, Click this button to pick the color you want to get rid of, and we can just click to get rid of it. But if we zoom in here, you can see it didn't do a great job. There's still a little bit of blue. So you can go into the mats and the garbage mats, as well as do some feathering. So you can work on this, but again, it's going to have varied results. But again, this isn't the most effective way of doing it. So if it happens to give you a great result, amazing, use it and move on. Otherwise, you may have to do a little bit of work. Your results may vary on this method. The next one, I'm just going to delete that. We can do exactly the same thing with the Luma here. And we can try getting rid of the blue here. In this case, we had better results. But again, your results may vary depending on your project. Same thing here, you can mess around with it to really try to fine tune exactly what it is that we're getting rid of. So once again, 
Your results may vary depending on what you're trying to get rid of. By far the most consistent method to get rid of whatever color you're trying to do, click on the image, go into the Fusion page. So from here, you're going to see you have a media in and a media out. Make sure to have your media in selected on your keyboard, hit shift and space, and then type in keyer. And what we're looking for is the chroma keyer. Now select that, click on the color range, and then in this case, because I basically have red and blue, I can just move these values over until we have a pretty clean mask here. We can also mess around with the luminance to try to clean that up a little bit more, but I think it was pretty good. So my results are pretty good because I'm basically using just a red and blue image. I kind of did this on purpose to show you just how good it can be, but mess around with it. In almost any instance I've, I've worked with this, if these don't get you a great result, start messing with the luminance or even try just the luminance at the beginning, you're going to get a pretty good result out of this. And again, after we've done this, we can see that this is in fact a transparent image. If we turn off the green background, it's perfectly transparent and we can export this as a transparent video. Okay, so the final step is going to be exporting a transparent video. And just so you see that this is going to be an actual video and not a still image, I'm just going to create a keyframe at the beginning, keyframe at the end, and zoom this up to like 1.4. So there's going to be a little bit of motion. And then I'm going to turn off or actually just delete this green background layer. And let's get to exporting. Okay, so the first option that we have is actually the worst, and it's only available in the pro version of DaVinci Resolve. Don't use it. I'm just going to show you why, so you don't waste your own time. Uh, we put the format under QuickTime, codec under H.265, encoder, NVIDIA is the better of the two. And we can see it does have an export alpha option. I'm just going to change the name to video shape bad. I'm going to add it to the render queue and then render it out real quick. So that's rendered out. Let's go back to the edit page, add the solid color, make it longer, turn it green. And let's add the video shape bat on top. And if we zoom in, you can already see the problem. Let's give this a play. So yes, technically it's transparent, but the video is hot garbage. Don't use this option. All right, so the next one we could export under is DNxHR. Now, several of these do have the export alpha option. So uh, the 12-bit ones do, HQ does, but the 10-bit doesn't. So just make sure to select one that does have it. Click the export alpha button, and then we can add that to our render queue as well. All right, so if we go back in, and then drop the shape video on top. What we're going to see is that we do in fact have transparency. Another one we can choose is the Kodak GoPro Cineform. This one also has transparency, but you have to use the RGB 16 bits. Again, click Export Alpha, and I will title this Shape Video 2 add it to the render queue and render it out and add our shape video number two. And once again, you can see it as transparent and it is that same video that we just exported right now with perfect transparency. So the final codec that you can use if you're an Apple user is the Apple ProRes codec. It also has an option for transparency and to export the alpha. So if you're on Mac, that's the one that I would suggest using. So at this point, Windows users, you may be wondering which format should I use? And honestly, that's going to depend on you. But for the majority of you, I would recommend using GoPro Cineform. It has a really good compromise of being reasonable file sizes while still retaining that transparency. If you use DNxHR, especially some of the higher quality variants of it, you're going to get astronomically huge file sizes, they're going to be almost lossless, if not completely lossless. And 
for the majority of us, that's just overkill. So I would just recommend using GoPro Cineform just because of the size and the quality is still really good. And now, as I was saying earlier in the video, a black background might end up being a black background depending on your export. So let me just show you what I mean. Let's go into the Deliver tab once more. And this time, let's choose a codec that doesn't support transparency. So let's just go with a straight H.264. This is what you would get if you were exporting, let's say, an MP4. So let's add this to the render queue. And let's add our not transparent video. And there we go. You can see it. It's not transparent. So yes. A black background usually means it's going to be transparent, but only if you export with a codec that allows transparency and you hit that export alpha button. Otherwise, you're just going to get a black background. So you may have followed this guide perfectly, rendered out your transparent video just to find that it doesn't play back or you still have a black background. And that's just the sad truth of dealing with transparency. Most software out there just can't handle it. So what you may have to do is transcode it to a different format that that particular software can handle, such as WebM if you're using OBS, or you may just need to find an entirely different way to do what you're trying to do. And once again, if you're looking for free royalty-free music or some DaVinci Resolve templates and effects, follow the link below to my website ToonSquid and grab anything you want for free. And if this video was helpful, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you'd like to see going forward. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.